Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing part three of my color palette challenge, which means we're doing characters number five and six today. So as you can see, character number five is high fashion, which is a like yellow and purple toned palette. So coincidentally, I have been doing quite a few um, fashion drawings recently which obviously I didn't plan, but I think it just really worked out. So I sketched out this pose and then I got some inspiration from this really frilly coat looking thing from a runway show for this year. And I wanted to add those frills and obviously do it in a different way than a coat. Um, so I decided to make sleeves and then the bottom of the dress out of it. And then I remembered the pattern that's supposed to be trendy this year is that kind of wavy, mishmash of colors so I decided to add that for the pattern in the center and because I can't draw feet or shoes really I just decided to, to like leave that alone um and I just do on like the most simple shoe you could probably think of and then I always consider like very angular bobs to be the main type of hairstyle or what I would assume would be the main type of hairstyle in like a fashion show I don't know why just maybe because it's so angular I don't really see them out and about but anyway so that's what I gave my lady here so I just did the line art in a slightly darker purple color I just toned down the darkest color in the palette there and then I did her skin the like medium salmon kind of color uh, which does make her look a little sunburnt but that's okay <laughs> um, and then I went in with the like medium purple shade and then shaded it with the darkest one and I actually did all the shading with the dark purple um, just because that made the most sense. None of the blended colors really worked for shading because of the skin tone I chose. But anyways, now I'm just going in and adding all of the colors to the dress in just kind of some random order and I do end up adding some cutouts to the side of the dress right here just to add a little bit more flair to it as if there wasn't already enough stuff going on. Um, I just think that it looks kind of cool and just gave it a little bit more oomph, I guess. And of course I did give her a mask as well because Miss Rona is not stopping anytime soon. And then I just did her bob yellow with some orange at the bottom. And then she kind of has a salmon background, um, but blended colors ended up being the background and the shadow. Um, so this drawing actually did not take me that long, probably because I've been doing a lot of fashion drawings and I'm way more used to it now. Um, but I'm still really happy with the way that it turned out and I like that I was able to like move stuff around. Um, so here's the finished piece. Moving on to character number six, it is Constant Rambling, which is a peach and blue tone palette. Um, I wanted to take a positive spin on the word rambling because when you think of rambling, you think of somebody who's just going on and on and on and on and on and you really just want them to shut up. And I hate that that's negative. So I wanted to draw a girl that was very happy and excited to be talking about whatever she's talking about. I didn't have a plan for that at the beginning. Um, so I did add in a little story at the very end, which you will see. Uh, but as of right now, she's just... She's just blurting out whatever. So I wanted to draw her with like looking up, not really paying attention, but also super visibly excited and happy to be talking about whatever she's talking about. So again, I just toned down the darkest blue in the palette to make this navy blue for the line art, which I'm super happy that I went with that because I think it works really well. And as you can see, I'm just going through and doing the line art right now. I know her head looks a little funky, her, I'm gonna fix that and not all of the lines are going to stay like that. I do end up making her chin a little less angular, which definitely helped and I made the neck thinner right there, which also helped. So once I finished doing the hair, I realized that I gave her the exact same bangs as I did for my character for Without a Heart but I didn't want to redo all of the hair because it looked good and this is exactly what I was picturing for this character and it was going so well already. Like I I don't think I've ever been happier with line art. I know I say that almost every time that I like discover something new, but I'm, I'm serious this time. This one is my new favorite. <laughs> so I didn't want to go through it and do it again. So I figured it was fine. They're different enough. This one is short and shoulder length, straight. And then the other one is like very voluminous 
wavy and you can't see where it ends. So I decided to leave it and not change it because I'm kind of lazy and I didn't want to. Um, so now I'm going in with a color. You may have noticed that I did not plan out my colors in advance, which I usually do. I just decided to kind of run with it, I guess. Um, so I did the speech bubble in the skin tone, the same like middle yellow color. And then I did the hair, um, the blushing on her body <clears throat> and the shadows on her body in the like peachy red tone. I do end up changing the lip color to like a mix of the orange and the peach to make it a little bit lighter and that looked a little better. Um, I don't think I put that on camera though um, just because it was it wasn't a change I was initially going to make um, but that's okay. The other things that I did with this red color is I added freckles to her which you can't see unless you zoom in but I love adding freckles to my characters. I just think it really adds a little bit of realism. And then of course I added some color to her brows. And then I wanted blue eyes for sure. And I thought a really good way to make those eyes pop was to give her the blue shirt as well. And then I just did some really simple shading with the darker colors. Um, and that was basically that. Uh, that left the only color to be orange, which is how we came up with the background there. It's not my, you know, top choice of a background considering this character has like red hair, but it was the only way that I could fit it in. So that's what we're doing. So as you can see, I'm writing in this story now. It is about the new scratching post that I got my cat. So if you're really interested in the new scratching post, you're more than welcome to pause the video when I show the final piece and like read the whole thing. Um, I find it very funny, actually. <laughs> um... And like most pet owners, we can talk forever about our pets, but I'm going to show the final piece in a second here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next week.